Welcome to the next video in my series. I'm building a responsive website from A to Z for my whole workflow, everything in there. Uh, in this video, we are going to be fixing up this promote your app section to look like that into something that looks like this. In doing this, we're also going to have to set up the whole grid system so things actually start working properly. Uh, I've started doing the grid a little bit, but this is really where the grid is going to take on its full form. And it's not too complicated to do, and we're going to be doing all of that with Flexbox. So the first thing you'll have noticed, obviously, is Promote Your App is here, and these are all sort of nudged up against there. And if we look in here, the reason for that is my grid is set to display flex. And because my grid is set to display flex, it just makes everything sort of pile up next to each other. Now, I want these three columns to actually be next to each other, obviously. And I've made all of those columns. So we have column, column, column. So that's great. The problem is uh, over here with my H1, that shouldn't be a column that should actually be taking up the full space. So to fix this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into my grid here where I haven't really done anything yet, uh, except for say that my grid is a uh, display flex. Now, the thing that I want to do is uh, at the desktop screen size, I do want that to become a three grid system. But uh, on my mobile display, which is what we're worrying about the most right now, if I have three columns, they're going to be awfully small. They're going to be really, really narrow. So I actually want my columns at the small screen sizes just to stack one on top of each other, a lot like what Bootstrap does. So uh, the simplest way to do that is to say that my columns by default are a flex 0, 0, 100%. Uh, what that means is, and the flex is um, shorthand for the flex shrink, the flex grow, and the flex basis. Uh, so zero, 0, is just making sure that they're not shrinking or growing. Um, and the 100% is saying that they should be taking up the full size. Their default setup is 100% of the screen. So I'm going to hit save. And you can see I only have one icon now. The only problem is by putting that to 100%, what's actually happened is they're staying next to each other. The way Flexbox works is their columns. It squeezes everything in next to each other. But when you force the width on something, it will stay next to each other, and now all that's happened is I have a 300% width section, which is obviously not very good. So to prevent things like that from happening, what I want to do is I want to come back to my grid, and I just want to do a uh, flex wrap. And the default is no wrap, meaning things you get side-scrolling sometimes. And I want to switch that over just to regular wrap. And now we'll notice that they stack one on top of each other, which is perfect. It's exactly what I wanted. I wanted them to stack on top of each other instead of being um, next to one another because they're taking up the full space. Just so you can see, uh, if I give these a background color, a uh, background of pink, you can see they're taking up the, the full width and they're inside a container right now. Um, and now the next thing I want to do is just add the, the text that I need underneath those. So I'm going to just jump into my index because I forgot to do this originally. Um, so let's go find my Photoshop design. Uh, responsive design, easy to set up, and great results. Let's see if I can remember all that. Uh, well, it's easy. It's right there. Uh, responsive design, easy to set up and great results and I can just paste in my lorem ipsum text that I have right there paste paste and paste so we'll save that and let's go see what it looks like on the screen there we go uh, I have my text I want all of this to be centered and actually I probably should have done this originally uh, on my doo -doo -doo, my base when it's on my small screen sizes, I just want all my text to be centered. Uh, text align center. I think that's just going to make our life much, much, much easier. Um, now, the one part that's still busted, sort of, is this promote your app. And the reason for that is my promote my app, um, it's flexing as well. Uh, and that flexing is causing a bit of an issue. It's forcing um, these, um, we have a bit of work to do on this. That's okay. Um, so it's forcing, when you flex something, even if it's a block level element, it's sort of like if you position something absolute, 
uh, it loses its width and all of that, and it shrinks down. So uh, my H1 there, let's just take a look really fast. My H1, H1, whoops, has a background of blue. Uh, so it's even though it's a block level element, because it's flexing, it doesn't have that full size that a block level element normally would. So my text align center isn't working on that, um, but that's okay. Because when I get to my larger screen sizes, uh, these are going to turn back into regular columns, and I don't want that weird problem happening with it wrapping around anymore. So I'm actually going to turn my H1 into a column as well. Um, but it's going to be a different type of column. It's going to have a class of uh, column full. So, whoops, double L. Uh, and this is important. Um, I, whoops, column, column full. Uh, so the reason I'm doing this is I want it to be a column and you can see right now it's working but when it gets to the full screen size I don't want it to be all of a sudden turning into a regular column and going next to these so I have my column full which is always going to be a grid my column and then I'm gonna have a column whoop, column full double L <clears throat> and my column full is just going to be the same thing for now. Uh, and it's going to stay that way. So the big difference between my regular column and my column full is my column full will always be like this. It's always going to take up the full amount of space, whereas this column at different screen sizes will adjust and work a little bit differently. Uh, now one thing I clearly need to do is create some spacing on the, the top and the bottom of this one. So that luckily is nice and easy to do. I want to have equal spacing throughout the entire site. Now let's go just look at my HTML really fast. Um, sales points is fine. There's my title. Whoops. The title box. Get those down there. Hmm. I don't actually, a lot of sites I do, I usually have equal um, spacing on a lot of the different things that I'm creating. In this case, I'm not gonna have that equal spacing because each section's a little bit different from the other one. Uh, so that's okay. Let's then do, this is my section class promo. So in, let's make a new file. Uh, my SAS layout. Um, because I'm creating a single page site, I was just gonna save it in my layout here. Um, I probably should have done that with my hero too, where it would get its own folder. Um, actually, you know what I'll do? I'll just do a uh, home, home uh, promo dot sass. Uh, just, it, it's usually a good idea to, uh, should I have a pages folder? I don't want to make a pages folder. Um, in my SAS, sometimes I'd have a pages folder and each page would get its own um, SAS file. So I'm just, instead of doing that for this one, I'm just going to do an underscore home for all the different sections on the home page because I'm only building the home page, but technically the site would be built out further. Uh, so it'd be one way just to uh, name the files in a convenient way so it's easy to know what they're for. And my hero, I probably should have done the same. Uh, so home promo, we'll go over, super, and we'll go over to my main.sass, at import, layout, home, uh, promo, and we can now get into there home promo. Uh, so I just want to put the spacing on the top and the bottom. So on my phone, it would probably be something. Let's just do an iPhone 6, let's say. Uh, let's move this so we can just go to 100% just to get an idea. Okay. Um, yeah, the, spa actually, the spacing there is are nice. Um, okay, so home promo. All I really need for this one is uh, padding top or just do padding, um, pen vertical height zero. And I said vertical height, it should be viewport height, and that clearly didn't work. 
It is promo, right? Promo. Oh, I'm not in promo and sales points. Why am I looking at promo on here? <laughs> uh, okay, well, that's a little embarrassing. Okay, let's just do the same thing. Actually, uh, I'll leave this here. We might need to change that, but I'm gonna need that file later on anyway. And we'll call this one home sales points. <clears throat> this will get changed to sales points. And before I save that, we'll go back to my main and bring that in there. Copy, paste, home, sales, points. Save that one, save this one. There we go, some spacing there. The reason that I put VH instead of say five RAM, 10 RAM, um, you know, it's going to correspond to, if the person flips it, you can see it's getting a little bit smaller. So it's really going to adjust itself according to the um, size of the screen. If somebody is on a iPad, it will, you know, have a nice big space there, but if they rotate it, it shrinks down a little bit. So it adjusts according to uh, their screen a bit, which is nice. Um, so if they're on a, a shorter screen, it won't fill the whole space with this big empty space. And I think that's kind of neat. <coughs> Even here you can see, you'll see, uh, scroll up. Right there, you should be able to see there, it's getting smaller and smaller and smaller and bigger and bigger and bigger. So I like doing that. Okay, so that's all good and dandy. Um, I also need space between my sales points. Um, I'm just trying to think. So that would be a sales point because each one of, I have my sales points is the entire, let's go take a look. Sales points is the entire thing. And then each one of those is a separate sales point. So each sales point will have a margin bottom of, um, 5M. Too big, wow, 2M. That looks better. Mm. 2.5M. 3.5M. I want a little bit of space there. Um, and the only thing is I don't want this bottom one to have a margin. So I will add um, sales point not last, yeah, not last child will get a um, margin bottom of zero. And when I save that, this should move up just a tad. Of course, everything did last. Oh, I did that wrong. All of them got it except my last one. Whoops, <laughs> I shouldn't, I don't, I just should do last child. Nope, don't want that there. There we go, did that wrong before. Uh, so if I take this off, see how there's a big space there that uh, I'm getting rid of right there because there was this big extra margin on this one that I don't want to be there, uh, which would cause problems. So the last child doesn't get any of that margin on the bottom. Ah, uh, there's too much. Sorry, I kept making it bigger and bigger and bigger and now I think it's too much. I'll bring them a little bit tighter together. That looks nicer. Okay, there we go. Um, I'd like a little bit more space on that one too, actually, uh, on the top. So that will get a first child will have a margin top of say 1.5M. And that should actually be first of type because the first it's not the first child. And that's just to create a bit more space here. I found it was too close. I don't like that it was, you know, nudging right up against it. Um, and more or less, guys, that's it. I think that looks pretty nice on mobile devices. That's looking pretty sweet. Uh, so for that video, that's it. It's a nice and short one today, which is great. Uh, I hope you liked it. If you, again, if you have any questions, any comments, please leave a comment down below. If you liked the video, hit the like. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to the video because I have lots more of these coming. We still got a lot of work to do in it. 
And if you're wondering why I haven't built it into the three columns yet, I am going to get there, but I'm going to do that all the way at the end. Once I finish the whole site in this view, I'm going to go over and rework the whole thing to work on large screens. Again, I hope you liked the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.